What's up everybody? We're continuing our conversation for coefficient off the shore. This time though, we're changing it up to do some alternative lures that can catch you fish right now. Same setup that we've been using throughout this whole series this last week and a half, but I wanted to showcase just a couple other extra things to help you get more fish. So let's dive right at it and look at it right here, up close. But we're inside the boat today because it's windier than heck outside and uh, Harder to get some good audio for you. What I'm gonna talk about are my first choice alternatives. You know, I've already gone over the buzz bombs, the wicked lures. Um, I've also gone over floating herring of recent, and you guys can definitely check those videos in the playlist below. But for alternative options to that, I really do think you gotta go in the same realm as some of the others, flash, jigging movement and really ease of availability because that's where some of this other really comes into so we'll start with these guys here one of the most staple lures that is around that is the yakima bait rooster tail now what's cool about these is these are a one ounce version there are a little bit smaller as well so a lot of varying sizes you can get but i it intrigued me for the larger size like this because you can get the distance off the beach. Um, now, because they are treble hooks, you gotta take those off. So I have some two-aught Gamagatsus here. You could even go up to a three-aught. But uh, this, I think, would really work well for coho, especially in this white color. So off the beach, an ounce can get you pretty dang far. And it can really cover a really good horizontal presentation through the water column. And then I found these not long ago while I was at Cabela's, and I thought these would be perfect too. They're an ounce size, so you can really get some distance. Now, these are like a cast master in a similar sense, and so they have a good retrieve movement, but you can also jig these as you move them in. So they almost become a dual purpose um, lure, and I got one that's more of a bait fish profile here, natural, a silver and orange, kind of more of a tractor, and then a pretty classic staple, that fire tiger color. So got spoons and spinners, definitely a couple solid options, but don't discount the good old twitching jigs. Yes, that looks familiar. That is one of the 5 8 size holy blades that I make. But a twitching jig like this guy is something you would see a lot of people throwing for humpies in the salt water. This is just a little bit bigger head than the normal, but twitching jigs, twitching jigs off the shore can be really effective for coho. So definitely something to keep in your back pocket for your arsenal, but that can be killer. And then our last couple options here are a little bit more matching the hatch bait fish profile wise. This is a cripple herring. It's a great little lead jig, but it is literally molded out of a herring. And the way that it moves in the water, it gives you a really unique profile and some really good swimming action. Little blade on the bottom helps them Really get some attraction in there. Some great little colors. I do these in three quarter ounce when I'm fishing them from the beach and they work really well as just an alternative option. Here's a make basically like a herring color, but it just gives them a little something different. You can kind of see that bend. They really fish well. And then I threw this one in here. This is a one ounce jig that I poured up. Just kind of something fun, but it definitely is effective too. So where I thought a good realm to cover was some different spinners. And that's not only limited to these options, absolutely not. But spinners in a bigger weighted size, some heavier spoons to cast further, twitching jigs, and then some smaller lead jigs. You wrap yourself up in something like that, I really think you guys are going to be successful between everything we've talked about in this beach coho series there is something there for everybody to get a hold of and that is what's so fun 
get out off the beach right now and go chase these fish because they are around, they're willing to bite, and this is the time to go after them. Now, again, I'll reiterate it. These all that have treble hooks do in Puget Sound have to get the barbs cut off and be a single point barbless. So it's easy enough just to slap on a sidewash hook, change them out, and they'll all be ready to fish. All right, so that's our alternative beach lures of what I think some other options are, but I really want to ask the question, what extra type of lures do you use off the beach for coho? Because let me tell you, they are so aggressive, a lot of different things are going to work. If you guys want to see more of what I alluded to on our previous videos from the last couple weeks, watch this video right here, and you will be able to see a lot more different options in detail for beach fishing and all the fun it can have. Fish on!